Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Marina. I wrote the book, The Demodex Solution, and I have a program, The Demodex Diet Program as well. So I help coach those who are struggling with skin issues, autoimmune issues, and really balancing that ecosystem internally and externally. Today, what I wanted to speak about, to talk about, was Demodex and Candida. So how are they related? Does Demodex cause Candida or does Candida cause Demodex? Um, are both of them autoimmune related? Why, am I, why do I have both of those simultaneously? Why, what's wrong with me? What's wrong with my immune system? So those questions I wanted to address in this brief video, these mites, they are microscopic. So you're not able to see them. You're able to feel them. Sometimes you are able to see them a little bit, um, but like black, little black dots. But you are able to understand what Demodex mites are based on your symptoms. So symptomatically, are you having pus, yellow pus come out of those acne lesions. Uh, they're not really acne lesions. They look like it, but they're bumps and they have orangish pus coming out. And you see them, you see these little black dots all over your face. What are they? Well, within our body, we have an ecosystem. We have candida, bacteria, we have mites, uh, fungi, bacteria, mites and out of many um, and once one pathogen or one a part of your micro microflora is, is is imbalanced disbalanced you tend to get an, an overgrowth of another type of pathogen because you're allowing your body to have that overgrowth you're allowing your body to you're allowing your body for these mites to reproduce or the candida to reproduce. So candida and demodex, they're very similar because they're both on our microbiome. One cannot live without the other. So candida really needs demodex uh, and demodex needs candida so, and bacterial cells. So all of, those, all of those pathogens, all of those microorganisms, they do need each other and they need a symbiosis. So. Candida is usually from eating sugars, a weakened immune system, chemotherapy. Uh, usually you, you've taken too many antibiotics. Uh, usually you've had an underlying infection that, that you're unable to solve. So those two are extremely correlated and same goes to demodex mites. So many of you might have a candida, candida overgrowth as well um, as demodex overgrowth. Those two are related to each other, very closely related. Um, demodex mites, they're just mites. Candida cells, they're cells. They're very, very small. They're one of the smallest cells in the world. Doctors won't be able to catch them. That's why the tests are um, very inaccurate. The traditional tests, such as a vaginal uh, scraping or taking a vaginal sample, taking an oral sample, they're not as effective. Um, it only depends on how extreme your oral thrush or your vaginal candidiasis is. Uh, usually, you even if you have an overgrowth, the doctors uh, won't be able to see it uh, if if you're not if you actually don't have that many symptoms. So if you have symptoms that are internal, like gastric, upset gastric health, issues with your skin, you even have relationship issues. If you have anxiety, candida can cause all of that. Uh, usually candida is from a very weakened immune system. So for me, for example, I struggled with an eating disorder uh, in my early 20s and I struggled with bulimia so I was binging and purging and I ended up getting an overgrowth of chronic candida so now I have chronic candida and uh, it's very very difficult to to cure to treat it's very difficult for doctors to even catch it to to even respect me and understand that I do have it uh, and not think I'm some lunatic uh, because with candida, they're so tiny, they're so microscopic 
that if you don't have an extreme overgrowth, then you have nothing. They won't give you anything. Fluconazole, they won't give you Nystatin, nothing. They have to see physical symptoms such as oral thrush, such as vaginal, they, they will not give you fluconazole, only maybe one pill if you tell them. Uh, and that, in fact, fluconazole, you, as you know, it's not the most effective uh, as well, especially if you have something that's reoccurrent, fluconazole will not treat it for good. Uh, I've been through that personally. Fluconazole will help get rid of it, but once you start eating sugar again and you have an, a compromised immune system, you will get it back easily. Uh, I had a, an anomaly happen actually, is my, my boyfriend, he was getting physically sick from me. Uh, and that's actually how I found out I had a candida and severe candida. Um, you know, it is very similar. I had demodex mites as well, right after my candida overgrowth. So those two are very correlated. A lot of people who have demodex also have candida, and those those who have candida also have demodex. So those overgrowths are very correlated. Uh, I would I would get sick from even my bed sheets, I would react again, thinking I, I had uh, progressed forward, but uh, sleeping in my older bed sheets, I um, once again renewed my, my reaction or renewed those cells, uh, meaning that I reacted. Once again, lost all of my progress. So with demodex mites, we are looking at a very compromised immune system. Um, the way to heal them is going to be a candida protocol. Uh, it's the same protocol. Uh, there, there are a few tweaks that I, that I added. There are a few steps that I added, additional steps for Demodex, because both pathogens are extremely smart, intelligent, and adaptable to anything that wants to kill them. Uh, as you know, bacterial resistance is very common as well to antibiotics. Um, these pathogens evolve when you're consuming antibiotics, especially also when you're consuming antifungals, Demodex can evolve. Uh, so both of them, those hard prescription medications, preferably minimized, should, should be minimized and avoided. Uh, and incorporating more natural substances that are as, a, as effective, like monolaurin, oregano oil, uh, coconut oil, all of those will help, but the base foundation is the diet. And it took me 90 days to get rid of my candida and my demodex, and I figured out the perfect diet for the majority of people and how that would work, uh, how on a daily basis, what you need to take, which supplements, which diets, uh, which dietary protocol. Uh, but the demodex it, they are very smart and intelligent pathogens. So don't get me wrong, they, they will reproduce when you give them the chance. I would say that if you're on your 90 day protocol and you have a glass of wine and you have something that can potentially trigger you, you, you unfortunately will be going backwards on your progress. It's not the mark after 30 days. After 30 days, you can technically because you're just maintaining. So you can have maybe something here or there, but never an extreme amount. You have to fully cleanse your system of the candida of the demodex mites because just one can reproduce into many. They just need that little food source, that medium, and reproduce quickly. So demodex and candida are extremely correlated. And um, for me, what I do is I, I use a candida protocol and make a few tweaks and use that for my demodex routine. Uh, and uh, it has worked wonders for me. So even if I go backwards, I move forwards 10 steps forward, 10 steps back, 10 steps forward. Those, that protocol is something that I uh, go by for four years now. I've been on it on and off just in case to maintain my health. You know, it's it's something that you need, especially when your immune system is compromised. Uh, and guys, you know, we really do it to ourselves uh, at the end of the day, and we have to hold ourselves accountable on what we are doing and what we consumed. Uh, it could have been something, when it could have happened, could have had something underlying we didn't even know about. 
Ah, uh, so now we have to take care of ourselves. I, I have that protocol for you and I'm going to be releasing more videos, more interesting content in the world of Demodex mites. These mites are something that are really aren't studied that much and they should be. They are like candida cells. So implementing that dietary protocol, I recommend. Also love to hear back from you guys and see what you would love to watch. Uh, I just know that Demodex and Candida are extremely correlated, especially for those people who have suffered from auto, from eating disorders beforehand. I know a lot of women have had those issues in their lifetime. And uh, it's to you women, of course, men as well that have had eating disorders. That have compromised their immune system and i'm just here to help you understand the intricacies of what you need to how you need to balance that that your microbiome and create that symbiosis um when it comes to just life when it comes to reading nutritional labels when it comes to um you know living in a going to work finding the right foods you know, that's something overlooked because when we go into the office we do not eat healthy especially if you if you guys are, are in corporate in the corporate environment uh, it's not a healthy way of life you're sitting you're eating whatever comes to you donuts pizza um, but I I make videos about that and how to heal your demodex your candida your autoimmune issues and uh, comment subscribe and like the video i'd love to get this out to more people and help them as well thank you for watching bye guys